The state of the COVID-19 pandemic in our province has grown ser more serious. We're here a day earlier than scheduled to explain these developments and to announce restrictions to stop the spread of the virus. Our case numbers are rising too rapidly and there is now community spread within Halifax Regional Municipality. Today we're announcing 38 new cases, joining the 25 cases from yesterday. Case numbers haven't been this high since we put restrictions in place in November during the second wave. There are 111 active cases across the province and three Nova Scotians in hospital. Make no mistake, there is a lot at stake here. As you already know, today at 8 a.m., new restrictions were put in place at our border for four weeks. We're asking Nova Scotians not to travel outside of Newfoundland and PEI unless the travel is essential. If you're not a permanent resident of Nova Scotia and your travel here is not essential, you cannot come here. Our COVID website will have more detail on what is consider considered essential and what is not. And understand that we are prepared to turn away people at our border. These measures will help, but they aren't enough on their own. Over the last several weeks, Dr. Strang and I have consistently warned Nova Scotians that in this fight against COVID-19, none of us could let up. We've all seen what's happening outside of our borders where some variants have gained a foothold. No one wants that. Right now, our immediate concern is the COVID activity we're seeing within the Halifax area. That's why effective tomorrow at 8 a.m., we are introducing new restrictions for all of HRM, as well as a number of communities in the surrounding area. We are implementing what is almost a full lockdown and it will be in place for the next four weeks. Dr. Strang will go through them in detail, but I'll say this, these restrictions are meant to be a circuit breaker. They are designed to curb social activity so that we can protect our healthcare system from surges and keep our vaccine rollout on track. Here are some of the key new restrictions. Nova Scotians should avoid all non-essential travel in and out of the Halifax area. We are not allowing visitors to our long-term care centers with the exception of our designated care providers. Effective tomorrow, schools in our area of increased COVID activity will close to students and move to at-home learning for a two-week circuit breaker period. These are Auburn Drive High Family of Schools, Cole Harbor High Family of Schools, Dartmouth High Family of Schools, Ecole Secondaire Mosaic, Ecole du Carrefour, and Ecole Bois Jolie. Teachers and school staff will continue to work in school. The indoor and outdoor gathering limits will be set at five people. Public servants will work from home where possible. Retail business and malls stay open, but at 25% capacity. Restaurants will move to takeout service only and personal services will be closed. Again, Dr. Shang will go over some of these new restrictions in greater detail. This circuit breaker will reset the concerning activity we're seeing in the Halifax area. We need to cut off the spread of the virus before it becomes a bigger issue or expands to other parts of the province. I know that these measures are tough but I want to reassure Nova Scotians we will be working with them to mitigate the impacts that this is having. 